Hello and welcome everyone. Today's presentation is on thromboprophylaxis in critical care. How, why, and when? All these questions will be answered. In 1960, a landmark trial established heparin to be effective in reducing mortality from pulmonary embolism. Low molecular weight heparin was discovered in the 1980s. It compared to unfractionated heparin. Had more consistent pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamic, simplified dosing, reduced bleeding, and less frequent heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, making it the preferred agent in ICU. Which pharmacological thromboprophylaxis should be used for critically ill patients? Protect is the largest RCT comparing LMWH with UFH. In a systematic review and network meta-analysis of 13 randomized clinical trials evaluating efficacy of thromboprophylaxis agents in 9,619 critically ill adults, showed LMWH is better than control as well as unfractionated heparin. The European and American guidelines recommend pharmacological prophylaxis with LMWH over UFH in critically ill patients. For patients with severe renal insufficiency, the guidelines suggest the use of UFH, dalteparin or reduced doses of enoxaparin and monitoring of anti-X activity. The guidelines also suggest no prophylaxis or the use of intermittent pneumatic compression in patients with a platelet count less than 50,000 per millimeter 3 or a high risk of bleeding. The careful use of pharmacological prophylaxis in patients with severe liver failure. What is the role of mechanical thromboprophylaxis in critically ill patients? In the PREVENT trial, the use of adjunctive compression devices in addition to pharmacologic prophylaxis did not result in a reduction in DVT compared to pharmacologic prophylaxis alone. Thus, the guidelines recommend the use of mechanical prophylaxis for patients with contraindications for anticoagulation. Here is a schematic diagram with strength of recommendation in the guidelines. Give us a like if you find our videos helpful. The take-home message is, considering the high risk of thrombosis in critically ill patients, general consensus currently establishes use of some form of heparin in pharmacological prophylaxis at the time of ICU admission, or mechanical thromboprophylaxis in those with contraindications to pharmacological thromboprophylaxis. Thank you.